Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hollow and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today what I got for you guys is another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Now, in the past, I've made two videos on how to make a particular weapon overpowered. I've done the Weevil, which is my most popular episode at the moment, and I've done the KN44 a few days ago. If you guys haven't seen those episodes, I'll link both of them down in the description. They are a must-watch, I promise you, especially the Weevil. That is a golden episode. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the Razorback and what I think are the best attachments to put on this weapon to make it a little bit overpowered. Now, when we talk about a weapon being overpowered, Power. It's basically all based on attachments. Now, although I will give you the class setup alongside with this weapon and the attachments, just keep in mind that to make a weapon overpowered, it's all about the attachments. We're particularly focusing on this weapon. So, what I went with the Razorback is the grip, the long barrel, and the quick draw. So, obviously, the grip we want to reduce the recoil, the long barrel we want to increase the range damage, and the quick draw we just want to aim down sight faster. Quick draw, I put it because the fire rate on this weapon is not that great. It's, I would say, moderate. It's not fast, it's not slow. So I put on the quick draw to at least be able to aim quicker. Now, I did try on rapid fire with this weapon for about five to six games, and I thought it was working, but when I went on a private match, it really didn't make so much of a big difference. Rapid fire did get increased, it did get buffed, but it only works on some weapons. It doesn't seem to work really well on the Razorback for some particular reason, so I decided not to go with it. So I put on the quick draw instead, and then the grip, obviously, we want to reduce the recoil because this gun does have some type of kick, and long barrel simply because you want to increase what this weapon is good at. Obviously, when you want to make a weapon overpowered, you want to kind of just touch up on its good things, right? You don't want to, for instance, if the Razorback is good at anywhere from medium to long ranges, you don't want to try and increase, you know, the short range damage. That just makes no sense. Just try and increase what it's already good at. So, obviously, I thought that the long barrel was definitely the right choice to make. Now, in this class setup, I did try rapid fire and extended mags as well. Um, the Razorback does have a really, really small clip, and it seems that sometimes you may run out of bullets a little bit too quickly. So, depending Depending on the map that you're playing, you want to have, I'm giving you two alternatives here, you want to either put on the long barrel if you're playing on really large maps, or put on extended mags if you're playing on smaller maps. That is basically the only thing you have to change to this weapon. If you add on fast mags, I understand reloading fast feels amazing, but that doesn't really make the weapon overpowered in general. Fast mags is just like having fast hands and reloading quicker in other Call of Duties. Fast Max does not make the weapon overpowered, okay? Making a weapon overpowered is all about the weapon's performance, and obviously, reloading faster does not affect anything in the performance of the weapon. So definitely, I think long barrel, it does help you out. Grip, it reduces the recoil. And quick draw, you aim faster. All those things are going to help you with this weapon tremendously. So remember, if you're playing on large maps, go for the long barrel. Long barrel does help. It's not a crazy difference, but remember, in this game, just one bullet makes a difference. So the long barrel will help you uh, to get those longer range kills. Now, once we look into this class setup, I actually put on the perfect perks for this class. For the perk 1s, we have 6 cents. For the perk 2s, we got on Scavenger and Fast Hands. Now, the reason why I put Fast Hands is because we have Quick Draw, right? Quick Draw is to aim faster. This weapon's fire rate is not the fastest. Quick Draw is going to allow us to at least try and hit the enemy quicker before they hit us. Because in Call of Duty, whichever person hits first, most likely is going to win the gunfight. Now, if you have on Quick Draw plus Fast Hands, you're going to have the best of both worlds. You're going to have speed, and you're going to have, with the long barrel, you're going to have power over distance. So, I think that definitely these combinations right here for the perk 2s are absolutely amazing. Especially the Fast Hands, you know, if you put it in combination with Quick Job. And for the final perk here, we have Dead Silence. You can either put Dead Silence or Tactical Mask, depending if you're playing Free For All or TDM or Domination. It all depends on what type of game mode you are playing. Try out these perks. The purpose of this video is so you guys learn something from me, and I learn something from you, and all of you guys learn something from each other. Comment down in the comment section what are your attachments for the Razorback. And of course, comment down below which weapon you want me to do next for the next episode, and I will do it. I know I've seen the HVK, I've seen the Man of War, I've seen the CUDA. Trust me, if you've commented that below and I haven't done it yet, keep commenting it because the more I see it, the more I will do it. So just because I haven't done it, it doesn't mean that I'm not paying attention to the comment section below. So thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.